It matters where you buy bundles. Hacksify. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of State of Survival at Wacko Rush Gaming. So, last week we had the Think Him Up event where survivors needed to spend at least $420 to win 7 Gorilla Stabilizer badges. Well, State of Survival decided, hey, what can I do to beat last week's money grab? Oh, I know, let's roll out another event, this time <laughs> multiply that money grab by 6 times. So, in today's video, we're going to poke our nose into the latest event in State of Survival, Festival pass. If you like my videos, please do subscribe and smash the like button as it's free. After a cup of coffee and a delicious banana, let's jump straight into it. A new Supply Rush event is here for 5 days. Survivors have 5 chances a day to loot the Supply Hub to obtain 5 keys. That means 25 keys throughout the duration of the event. The rewards will be available in your system messages. When the bar at the Supply Hub is at 18, 15, 12, 10, 8, 5, 3 and 0, supply chests are scattered all over the wilderness. You have 10 chances a day to collect these supply chests for some yummy rewards. The bronze supply chest, the silver supply chest and the gold supply chest rewards conversion rate has significantly improved. So I would highly suggest you to use your 10 chances just by focusing to pick up the silver supply chest and the gold supply chest only where possible. Sadly, with the limited chances means many supply hubs are left unfinished by the time the next supply refresh is here. However, many folks are missing out on the double drop rate that the supply hub provides when it reaches zero. So a few tips for all you mammals. Get folks in your states or your alliance to work together and try to get them to focus the chances at one supply hub at the time. Then, I'm sure many of you have farm accounts. Transport your farm accounts over to the supply hub and loot these supply hubs. And with this, you are most likely going to be able to loot those supply hubs until they go to zero for the double splash of supply chests. The drop rate of the supply chest has improved significantly, so I've been getting some decent rewards while while only focusing to pick up the silver or the gold crates. The keys that you obtain in the Supply Rush event is going to come in handy in the Festival Pass event. I'm sure many of you have seen this event before where you need to accomplish various tasks to unlock the Journey tiers. There are 10 keys obtainable in the free track and another 10 keys you will need to either purchase the Traveler's Bundle or the Adventurer's Bundle. However, please be aware that you can only purchase one of these two crates. With these keys, you can open the new journey crates. I would never recommend opening the boxes one by one, so always wait to collect 10 keys and opening 10 boxes at one go. The rewards are okay, nothing amazing to scream about unless you back yourself the festival custom crate worth $200. You can either get the Sakura Garden HQ skin or 2 Stabilizer Missile Barrage. With the 25 keys that you've got through the Supply Rush event, you're going to be able to unlock the tier level 25 for 20 skin tickets. Spending $9.99 will allow you to obtain another 20 keys, bringing your total keys to 45 keys. 100 keys will bring you to the tier level 100 for the March skin custom crate, 360 keys for 360 skin tickets, and finally, if you really have poop luck, 650 keys to be guaranteed the festival custom crate. As always, you can buy more keys if you have a lot of money to spare and if you want to grab that exclusive festival custom crate, this is the cheapest path to follow in my opinion. State of Survival is an expensive game and due to global price hikes, it just got more expensive. This is where Paxify can help you save up to 25% on in-app purchases. The discount amount is based on your in-game prices and the exchange rates. Paxify offers State of Survival players a fast and straightforward onboarding process that allows you to start saving straight away without any waiting period. Due to their exceptional customer support, many survivors are truly delighted with their amazing service. Added with their range of payment options, including the WISE app or crypto payments with detailed instructions and support provided step-by-step -step to set them up. Want to save more? Then take advantage of Plaxify's flash deals and purchase diamonds in bulk to receive up to another 10% of discount. With its fast onboarding, competitive pricing and top-notch customer support, Plaxify is the ultimate choice for anyone wanting to progress quickly in their game. Make sure to check out the link in the description below and start saving yourself a bucket loads of monies. Finally, State of Survival are 
being so kind to us by rewarding Survivor's spending. Not really. After spending $2,400 across two weeks, Survivor's will be rewarded with various rewards. However, ultimately, it's the Six Stabilizer Sturdy Guardian and Cyan Warrior HQ skin sets captured my attention. These are worth $900 itself if you were to buy them individually in separate events. With the Six Stabilizer Guardian badges, you'd be able to unlock the Ultra Sturdy Guardian Gorilla skill. The effects adds electromagnetic protection, reducing friendly troops damage taken by 5%. It also adds extra damage absorption that equals 10% of hero defense to electromagnetic protection. I explained in my previous video why I prefer the Ultra Shockwave as one of the best Gorilla Ultra skills. Whilst having the Ultra Sturdy Guardian is okay, it's not the greatest. My only advice here is the event runs across two weeks, so if you really really want to unlock all these rewards, there is no need to rush, so pace yourself. One last advice, do not activate the blue skin. If you do, then you will miss the chance to transfer it to the red samurai. Well, that's all folks. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please smash the subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on your notification bell for more amazing videos. Thank you. Goodbye.